Here we are with TWAG number three. Monday, September 14th, we're going to do the post quiz review. Tuesday, September 15th, Angus's close read review. Wednesday, September 16th, vocabulary number seven. Thursday, September 17th, Writer's Workshop, Polish Your Essay on the Big Wave and Submit. So that's the final day for the Big Wave Essays. And then Friday, September 18th, Start Call of the Wild, Sentence Grabber number one. That's a wrap. So here's what we're doing on Monday. We have the Cornell Note Review Post Quiz number one. You'll look at your quiz and see what you missed. And then I'm going to show you two popular um, questions that were missed, all right? Frequently missed. So here we have it for Monday, September 14th. Notes taken from quiz one. Date notes were taken on uh, September the 11th. Circle the words that are true about simple subject. And your answers are the icy cold of the water, could not, which is B, C is water, D is could not chill those fires. Number one, label. Label what the question is asking you to do. A, label, true about simple subject. B, look for the what. What is the simple subject? And the answer is, the main word or words in a subject, okay? Eliminate the terms or words that do not belong. Three, analyze. I eliminated B and D because those two answers, we can see I made a mistake right there and I'm going to correct it right now. Simple mistake. T-W-O. There we go. All right. Those Two answers are about action and verbs. Four, prove therefore the answer is C, because A is, is the answer is C because, wait up, what, what do I have here? Let me just double check it. The answer is, yeah, the answer is C because Because A is the whole subject, the icy cold of the water. The word in the subject, um, the, the main word in the subject is water. So C is the answer. So we're going to put, let me correct that right now. I'm going to put main word. All right, just wrote that. Okay, the main word in the subject is water so C is the answer so this is a way to boost your quiz score all right so you'll complete that if you missed that one but maybe you missed this one so I'll also review this for you um, again quiz one you can see September the 11th circle the words that are true about simple predicate we just did simple subject now we're going to do simple predicate we have the same answers the icy cold of the water could not we have water and could not chill those fires. Label true about simple predicate this time. Question, what is a simple predicate? Answer, the main verb in the predicate. Eliminate, I eliminated A and C because those two answers are about the subject. Prove, therefore the answer is B because could not is the main verb. Okay. And that's Monday down. All right, now let's take a look at Tuesday, which should be um, here with Study Sync. So we have here, and we're looking to our response on uh, a lot of you did. Well, some of you didn't submit. Well, a lot of you didn't submit. Um, so here we have an answer. And then what I was, what I had to do was help you make your answers better, and get you a better score. The theme, of, of course, this is about the song of Wandering Angus. The theme is about a man named Angus who caught a little silver trout 
and turn it into a glimmering girl. Angus really wants to find his dream girl because when he first saw her, when he was young, he fell in love. He wandered off for so long looking for her. Okay, number one, he didn't turn the fish into a glimmering girl, right? But you have a good start. It's incomplete. Theme is that you have to put, theme is the central message or focus of the poem. Therefore, the theme cannot be that Angus caught a little silver trout and turned it into a glimmering girl. The theme for this poem could be something like reach for the stars, even if you come up short or never give up on your dreams. We see this because the speaker never gives up on trying to find his dream girl. Where is your quote uh, from the poem? Right. So I, I gave you feedback on it. And when you go into study sync, you can see that. And I gave you a score of where you need to improve, um, improve your analysis of theme and then your language and conventions. Did You did good on that. OK, let's take a look and see what else we have here. Let's go to the next person. All right, let's see what they wrote. Okay, the theme is about love and how Angus have to go find a girl. The theme is about love and how Hang Angus has to go find a girl or is compelled to go find the girl he fell in love with as a youth. He wanders to a forest to find a glimmering girl. And we don't want sound there, so we'll take that out. A mysterious girl appeared. He wanted to fall in love with her because she saw him when he was young. After she disappears, he will not stop. Okay, we've got to take stopping out there. He will not stop looking for her. Stopping to, he will not stop looking for her because he is in love with her. We have to switch that up. He wants to be with her after he finds her. All right. Um. You need a quote to back up what you thought the theme is, right? And then you have your, you got two two points for the theme and you did pretty good on language conventions. Let's look at the next one. Okay. All right, this looks, we've got a pretty um, bulky paragraph here. The theme is the central message of a story. And so what is the central message of the song of wandering Angus. Great way to start following directions. The central message is that he caught a trout and found a girl of his dreams and he's not going to find her, but he's not going to give up on his dreams. You could add that. So you hit it at the end with the theme. He's not going to give up on finding true love. That would be your theme there. The song of wandering Angus's theme we need an apostrophe there. Uh, theme is Angus and capitalize Angus. Gets, um, Angus caught a little trout and it turned into a glimmering girl who was his dream girl and he wants to find her. It's Angus. Okay, and we need space between the I and the period. It's Angus is determined to find the girl because he saw him. He saw her when he was a young man, correct the pronoun, and he has loved her ever since. Furthermore, uh, one another, furthermore, an example of theme is supported by the text here. I will find her and kiss her lips and take her hands. So you see that he has a quote and a few of you didn't put the quote. But you lose points for not putting that quote. This tells us that he is still in love with that girl that he met. When he was young and won't stop looking for her because he wants her. OK. All right. So that was a good. Um, you just need to polish up your sentences a bit. But this is a good start. I like the fact that you have a quote to back up your main point. All right. And you can see the score went up three and three there. OK, let's see. OK, here we go. Theme. Theme is the central message of a story, and so what is the central message of the Song of Wandering Angus? Great way to start there. Um, we don't have to capitalize the. Theme is the, so uh, make that lowercase. 
Great way to start. Addresses um, the question right on. The song of Wandering Angus's theme is love. And first time I saw that through running through um, this assignment, right? Good. You came up with your own theme, and it's true that the theme is love. Furthermore, an example of theme supported by the text is, comma, I will find out where she has gone. Okay, don't capitalize the and there and put a space between the A and the comma and kiss her lips and take her hands. And this, again, and this shows my claim. And this shows my claim. Period, space, space. My concluding thought is that this poem is about love. Angus trying to find the glimmering girl. Great. All right. Yes. Good start. One more rewrite and you are good to go. All right. Everything's there. She has everything in a three for three there. All right. I think probably need to move on to the next assignment, but let's maybe take one more look. Let's see here. Okay, here we go. Angus is so determined to find his dream girl because the little trout that he caught, okay, you don't need Anne there, that he caught turned into a girl and that girl was his dream girl. So that, you have to correct that sentence there. So if he finds or sees his dream girl, he will never give up on looking for her. Okay, that's her theme. His dream girl must be that, that pretty where he will never give up until he finds her. It's kind of difficult to see if he's young or old because he seems like a sweet, young, innocent boy in the beginning. In the end, he said he was an old man. So is he old or young? When the poem said that there's fire on his head or in his head or something like that, I think they meant by there's a lot going on in his mind. Okay, through his mind, but in his mind. I like how... Um, she puts this in her own voice. You can see her thinking, right? Uh, what did I say on this one? I like how you wrote this. If you could give us a little about theme and how the theme is revealed in the poem, that would improve your writing here. So that's what I want her to specifically state what she thinks the theme is. Okay, and then also to do what they were asking her to do. Tell us what theme is. Okay, all right. All right, I got to move on um, to the next assignment. So, so we're done with Tuesday, and now we're moving on to vocabulary. Okay, vocabulary, six, September 16th, Wednesday, the call of the wild vocabulary. Number one, solidarity. Two, misdemeanors. Three, placatingly. Four, precipitate. And five, ecstasy. And these are words that will be in call in the wild for study sync, um, I guess, during the next week. All right. So then now we are on to th through Thursday and we're supposed to be on to the big wave. OK, um, let's take a look here. All right. Let's get somebody else. All right. Here we go. Let's, so we're going to polish this, but let's look at a student's uh, essay. The big wave. So we want to put the, um, there is no space between the quote and the capital T. The Big Wave by Pearl S. Buck is a marvelous little book about being resilient through hard times in Japan. There were two boys on the coast of Japan. One of the boys was the son of a farmer, Kino. The other boy is the son of a fisherman, Jaya. They may not be rich, but had a good childhood until the big wave destroyed the village. After the big wave took Jaya's family, Kino's family took in Jaya as their son. The theme of the story is even after a tragedy, life finds a way to bloom again. Okay, ended the introduction correctly. The story begins on the coast of Japan, where we are introduced to Kino and his best friend, Jaya. The story is about a big wave that destroyed a Japanese fishing village and took the lives of Jaya's family. Excellent sentence there. After, after the big wave, Kino's family took Jaya in as their son. Jaya, being too shaken about what had happened when he woke up, couldn't speak. Couldn't speak. 
okay. All right, good. Couldn't speak. The old gentleman from the castle on Iowa wanted Jaya as his son, but Jaya rejected his offer and stayed with Kino's family. Jaya wanted to stay with Kino's family because of Setsu, Kino's little sis sister. As they get got older, as they get older, Jaya went back to the sea and built a house on the, okay, you need to uh, finish that, where his family's house, used, on the beach where his family's house used to be. After building his house on the beach, even though Setsu would mess with Jaya, so we, we have an incomplete thought there. After building his house on the beach, what happened? Even though Setsu would mess with Jaya and hide his hairbrush under the bed, they still got married and lived in the house that Jaya built on the beach. A lesson they learned is life is stronger than death. Third, I think the theme of the story is even after a tragedy, life finds a way to bloom again. I think this is the theme of the story because after the big wave came, Jaya had good things happen to him. For example, when Jaya woke up, the old gentleman offered to take Jaya as his son. However, Jaya wanted to stay with Kino's family. This is how Jaya begins to recover and bloom again. Another example is at the end of the story, Jaya got married to Kino's sis sister, Setsu, and built a house for them together on the beach. This is why I think the theme of the story is, after a tragedy, life finds a way to bloom again. Excellent, okay? Besides the tragic events and loss caused by the big wave, life found a way to bloom again. This theme of the story is similar to our lives. Our lives have found difficulties during the pandemic, but we have found a way to live. Even though we're not allowed to go back to school, we started doing online school. We are learning. And then you put but, but we are learning and we will move forward. The lesson of this is life is stronger than death. Excellent. So you have, we are learning, but we will still move forward. So you kind of want to correct that second to last sentence there. All right, good. Very good. Let me pause this. Okay, and then Friday is start call of the wild. Uh, sentence grabber number one. Let me find that. And I just made this for you guys. So here's the first part. So you'll do the sentence grabber. Number one, call of the wild. What pages did you read today? What did you visualize as you read today? Type your answer here. What happened to the main character today? My favorite sentence today was. That's number four. Number five. What was the simple subject of your sentence today? Number six. What was the simple predicate of your sentence today? Number seven. What kind of sentence is it? And number eight, now write a sentence like your favorite sentence. Type your answer here. All right, there you have it. T-Wag number three.